Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, as you can see, I've made some modifications to the uh, lathe frame. And uh, one of the modifications was that initially I didn't plan on having any type of tailstock, but I added this plate and uh, milled it flat. And these holes are accidental, so don't pay any mind to those. These four corner holes are, are, are the uh, actual mounting holes for the tailstock, which is going to be around here. And the idea is that since the motor and the ball screw mount is going to be on, on this face, it's going to run underneath the tailstock, so the tailstock will go over, over the uh, ball screw, I guess. And um, on top of that, I uh, just turned this over. I made a secondary addition, addition, where I added these bottom plates basically, because um, I sort of felt that once I actually tightened this down, to, this whole frame down to a, uh, to like a uh, frame, it may actually bend it. So now I have holes, uh, M M8, that um, I can thread and I can sort of adjust the alignment of the whole machine. <clears throat> and as, on top of that, I drilled a few holes in here. Okay, and same on the bottoms. Okay, there and there. And the idea was that when, sh when you look inside, you can see these uh, posts. Okay, you can actually see them pretty well. And the idea was that once I pour uh, the epoxy concrete mix in, it's gonna fill the whole tube like this, because this, this is a miter joint, so 45 degrees, 45 degrees all welded up. And once I, I fill that in, um, I want it to be a situation where it can hold on to the frame so it's not going to be loose or you know if vibration happens it doesn't shake itself loose and then it starts starts rattling and all that kind of stuff theoretically that should never happen theoretically but uh, just to make sure i uh i added a few of these all right <clears throat> now the next step is, let me turn this back down the uh, next step for the lathe is the uh, headstock plate. I uh, TIG welded the, the, the plates together. And then they're 10 millimeter plates. So it's uh, 240 times, how long did I make it? Oh, I made it too long, wonderful. Great, or did I? 240. Let me check. It's very hot. Yep, I made it too big. Okay. But I think it's fine. I made it about two centimeters too long here. <coughs> I can probably mill that off later. But uh, the idea is we're gonna have bolts that go through here four bolts okay they're gonna be they're m12 they're gonna be locked into the into the base frame and now i'm gonna i'm gonna be using these these rods to build up the frame okay it's gonna be like this like this and like this and then all the struts in between and all that kind of stuff and the idea idea behind it is that i want to fill the whole thing up with epoxy uh epoxy granite mix same as the frame rails and um, I want to make sure that, first of all, um, I have a big enough support structure for the epoxy granite infill. Okay. And why is it not focusing? Okay, so when I when I have the headstock here, okay, like this, 
is going to be filled in with the epoxy granite. So I decided to make the inner structure using these rods because I have more than enough of those and I don't really need them. And um, <clears throat> the, uh, in, the whole internal structure is going to be filled in with epoxy granite. So it's going to be plenty strong enough. It's not going to be uh, uh, really... Um, uh, it's not going to be... Uh, weak or anything like that. It's, it's not going to flex. Um, so yeah, that's the deal with the headstock. So I'm hoping to get that mostly done today. And um, if we move on to the next piece. So this is like the, uh, this is the saddle plate for the, um, well, what is this then? This is the Z-axis plate. Okay, so this looks like this underneath. Okay, and um, I, I milled the uh, the holes and the slots for the bull screw mounts here, and the motor is going to be basically on the end. And um, if we go past here, we can see that the uh, what was it then? Z and oh, let me think. The x-axis plate is here, and it's gonna have it's gonna mount onto the metal here. It's gonna have this much on either end, um, so it has more than enough travel. So I can mount because it's gonna be basically a gang gang tool um, style lathe, and I'm gonna mount all the other tools on there. So it, I need more than enough room to to to, to maneuver between uh, between the tools and all that kind of stuff. And uh, since I'm mostly gonna be doing plastic parts and all that kind of stuff, it should it should work out pretty well. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it for the uh, for the update video on the uh, on the lathe. It's it is coming along okay. And uh, the next video I'm gonna do about the uh, Probably when I have the headstock, when I have the headstock done, and when I'm starting on the tailstock. But the, to be entirely honest, I may start on the tailstock much much later because I want to get the machine running, and uh, hopefully by the end of next week. All right, thank you very much for uh, for still having <laughs> having having an interest in this machine. Uh, I hope you found this video uh, informational, and uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. All right, have a good one.